Hi everyone, my name is Karolina and I am happy to demonstrate a quick demo of Transmetric solution for empty container repositioning. In today's showcase, you will learn how artificial intelligence, machine learning and demand forecasting can empower capacity management and introduce proactive empty repositioning to your organization. But before we dive into the technology, let's put it in context. Nobody can argue that the COVID pandemic has dramatically changed the landscape of supply chains. In fact, at one point, there were around 70 container ships loaded with cargo waiting to offload the goods at the ports of Los Angeles and Long Beach. On top of that, there is also an uncertainty of unexpected lockdowns. For instance, some ports and terminals in southeast China had to put their operations on hold when confronted with positive COVID cases among the workers. This can happen at any point of time to any port in the world. It ultimately affects service levels, delivery times and, most importantly, container availability. Therefore, the need for empty available containers to satisfy global demand is only increasing. In order to ensure this availability, container shipping clients need to optimize safety stocks. However, the first step is to have a data-driven foundation. In many cases, logistics teams manage empty repositionings globally, while a separate procurement team controls vendor expenses. This disconnect leads to situations in which companies know the total amount they paid to a certain vendor at a certain location, but the drivers behind these costs are unclear. This lack of insight into how and where delays occur, as well as how the process might be improved, can significantly put the brakes on effective container shipping. Fortunately, digital innovations have created new opportunities for real growth. With the rapid development of the sector, companies need to reconsider their approach to empty container repositioning and choose a strategy which is based on artificial intelligence, best practices and sustainable solutions. With this approach, Companies can expect around 30% reduction in storage costs for empty containers and up to 10% reduction in overall logistics costs for empty containers. So how can a shipping organization achieve that? It all starts with modeling the operations of a shipping line. The first step is to build a cost-based optimization model, which takes into account all the costs related to the container lifecycle. It includes repositioning costs, storage costs, stevedoring costs, maintenance and repair costs, handling costs. It also considers often overlooked factors such as not satisfying a customer's demand and it quantifies it for the planners. On top of that, in order to provide accurate insights, the model also needs to understand the port sailing schedule, the local repositioning options, and, of course, the network. Almost every container journey starts when the shipper picks up the empty container. In order to determine the empty pickups, shipping clients can leverage a model which uses historical data to learn the pickup patterns from the past and apply those patterns to the future. Those patterns can vary based on the location and the container size type. Then, the same logic can be applied to the empty returns for any of the destinations. Considering all these variables and data points in order to generate an accurate forecast at each location can be very tedious and time-consuming for the planners. On top of that, all this information should be delivered daily into various systems that manage the operations. As you can imagine, the result of all these different tasks might end up suboptimal or even wrong. This is where the container shipping planners need to leverage Transmetric's AI-powered container management software. It produces a daily forecast which covers the operations on different levels of granularity. Having an accurate forecast is the first step into the predictive optimization space. 
One of the main goals of predictive optimization is to fix the imbalances or, in other words, to move the empty containers back to locations where they are needed, just in time of the need, so that companies can save up on potential storage costs. However, we also need to keep in mind that those containers need to be inspected, graded and repaired. Luckily, Transmetrics optimization model has been developed with all these activities in mind. Transmetrics model covers all the business constraints and generates a detailed plan, which takes into account the lowest possible operational costs with the highest service levels on a global level. Let's dive into the platform, starting from the reporting section. This section includes several reports, for example, historical and future predicted, that can help the planning team monitor the activities of local agents and take corrective actions where needed. To source data for these reports, Transmetrics utilizes data cleansing and enrichment to boost the quality of the data. It is a crucial step to establish effective data analytics in your organization. Let's take a look at some of the screens. The Storage Balance Report can provide your team with the dynamic storage changes on the global and regional levels. With this report, you can see which depots are the busiest and see where it is best to take the empty stock and reposition it to the high demand areas. You can also specify for the size and the type of the container. Let's take a hypothetical shipping line that services primarily Europe Africa and East Asia as an example here. Their primary issue is repositioning empty containers from Africa to Europe and Asia where they are needed. Due to the threat imbalances between Europe and Africa, the highest container demand is at the ports of Western Europe, but those are also locations with very high storage costs. It makes more sense to store empty containers in depots in Africa and only reposition just in time to meet demand in Europe. To take a deeper look at the costs, let's move to the next report. The storage cost chart monitors the stock levels and the cost development for certain countries, ports, or even specific depots. For the purpose of this showcase, we picked a location with a monthly free pool and with relatively high rates above the free pool. The orange line in this example represents the free pool. The solid blue line shows the historical balances on a daily basis. The dotted line shows the trend and the dashed line shows the future projection of container balances as a result of the data modeling. What you can see here is that the stock builds up far above the free pool. In most of the cases, over a thousand TEUs are sitting idle at this depot, causing the high storage costs every month. The optimization algorithm proposes to reduce the empty stock level at this location below the free pool while still satisfying customer demand. In other words, when the container demand for a location is accurately forecasted up to 12 weeks in advance, the company can reduce stock buildup below the free pool or use the insights from the software to assist in negotiations for a new free pool level. It results in optimal and data-driven safety stocks levels and reduces the storage costs for the coming months. For more strategic decisions, it is also important to understand the overall condition of your container fleet. The container fleet chart shows a global overview of container operations. On a daily basis, it shows empty land inventory, full land inventory, full and empty sea inventory, and export and import cycle. This report helps you analyze how your business performs looking at the number of containers doing actual business. With this screen, you can draw conclusions that your fleet size may be too high if your idle fleet is increasing. In this case, you might take a strategic decision to sell or lease a part of your fleet to save costs. As I mentioned previously, 
your organization can still satisfy the demand and provide high service levels with fewer idle containers at locations. All it takes is a proactive approach and timely repositioning. We have a few more reports that can demonstrate additional insights into your business. If you are interested to look at them, feel free to reach out to us as we will be happy to demonstrate the software more in depth. Now, as we have an understanding of the current fleet operations and empty stock imbalances at locations, let's focus on the forecasting. In this section of the platform, your team can review the forecast and manually adjust it if needed. Let's review the forecast for container demand at this specific sample location. Forecast powers the repositioning optimization, so it is at most important to have it right. Based on the historical data and external factors, the AI algorithms produce highly accurate forecasts. However, you should keep in mind that no forecast can predict such unprecedented events as the start of the COVID pandemic or the sweat scanner blockage, because there is simply no data that can show such drastic shifts in demand and operational patterns. The good news is that when such events occur, the forecast can start adjusting itself with every new batch of data on the disrupted operations incoming into the system. Usually, it takes a few days for the forecast to properly take the unexpected conditions into account. On top of that, in case of exceptional business opportunities or business expansion, the forecast can be manually adjusted either natively in the platform or via the TMS or ERP integrations. Sometimes, there are other events or circumstances that the system may not know about and we believe that it is important to trust the planners and their experience to update the forecast if they do not trust the system 100%. All of the above-mentioned adjustments will also change the result of the optimization. Now, we have explored both the AI-powered reporting and forecasting for container operations. Let's put it all together and explore the heart of the product, its planning and optimization capabilities. As I mentioned before, considering all the relevant variables, constraints and costs of the container journey in order to generate an accurate forecast for the future demand can be very tedious and time-consuming. Transmetrics AI calculates all of this in the background and presents planners with an ultimate space to make data-driven operational decisions. The best way to showcase this is through the service repositioning screen. This is a heavy screen with a lot of data, but it consolidates all the information we have to help the planner make the right decision. On the top, you see the vessels and on the left side you see the port of this specific service. In its intersection blocks, you can see the stock levels at the arrival and at the departure. You can also observe the activities during the port call and what is on the vessel at the moment of arrival. The most impressive thing here is that this screen presents the results of an AI model built on top of the forecast. It suggests optimal load and discharge operations for empty containers to satisfy expected demand and safety stock requirements at the lowest total cost. If you expand the vessel section, you can see more details about full container activities, bookings, forecast, and you can see what the system actually proposes, the optimal repositioning plan for empty containers. Your planning team may accept the suggestions or override it based on changes to the business circumstances, for example, a new big customer. Then, the system will automatically recalculate future stock levels at these locations as well as what is on the vessel at a certain point and you see that the numbers show up at the destination so it propagates the change. At this point, your team will be able to see how the optimization suggestions affect the container network performance in real life and adjust it at any point of time. As a result of that, with the optimized repositioning, your company can save up to 10% of costs 
on the efficient empty container management. So what are the biggest benefits of using Transmetrics AI-powered platform for your organization? First, applying AI and machine learning helps to identify ongoing issues with capacity utilization. Second, through tailored data analytics, you can get an insight about the real current utilization rates and see, for example, if you have some excess capacity that you can use to satisfy the demand on very busy trade lanes. Then, organizations can use AI and predictive analytics to forecast upcoming demand of containers. Having an accurate forecast opens the door into the predictive optimization space. With that, companies can allocate their resources accordingly to meet demand where and when it is needed. Predictive optimization can also power up more strategic decisions of increasing or decreasing the fleet size and more tactical decisions related to the maintenance and repair activities. Transmetrics optimization model saves a lot of time for your organization, which is usually spent on repetitive tasks. Instead, your team has the chance to concentrate on driving operational excellence while saving costs along the way. If you would like to know how your organization can experience this and bring your container business to the next level, don't hesitate to contact us for a tailored demo. Our team will be happy to go much more in-depth about the platform's functionalities and benefits.